Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today I'm going to unbox, talk a little bit about First in Flight uh, from Artana. One to four players, ages 12 and up, 45 to 75 minutes. Obviously, thematically, it's about the early days of the development uh, of the airplane. So you can see here, central boards, cards. Uh, all right, well, let's uh, let's get this open and see what all is inside. So, you know, this came, uh, a local gamer recommended this to me. They have the Kickstarter version. Uh, I don't know what's different about that. This is the retail version of the game, actually. So, uh, you know, but it has this uh, time track mechanism, which I like. It has push your luck, which I like and my boys like. Um, also has deck building. Uh, so anyway, all right, so the rule book here. So it talks about the different components. That's cool. There's a bunch of different types of cards uh, in this game. Uh, it talks about how it works. You know, you're going around this track and uh, just doing things basically to improve your deck because your deck represents the airplane that you're developing. Um, but, uh, you know, eventually you do fly it. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's the push your luck uh, element with the deck. All right, gameplay. Action costs, cards, example flight, right? So it talks you how to walk through that. This actually, you know, I've seen a playthrough of this and this seems like a more involved uh, <laughs> rule book than I was expecting. All right, so there's two player rules and some rules clarifications. Uh, biographies, the different cards of the players um, uh, in the game. You know, you know, each one of you represents a pilot. Nice to have a quick reference there. All right, that's cool. So what else do we have here? All right, an ad for uh, some genius games. Games. All right, there you go. Uh, some pieces, right? So there is money in the game as one of the resources. So I guess these are the coins. So there's one of the coins. All right, let me set that down over there. All right, what do we have here? Stickers. <laughs> uh, I don't, Okay, that's interesting. I don't ever like having to apply stickers to things. Um, I don't know why you need to sticker things. Okay, uh, that's fine. All right, so here's some player boards. Actually, sort of flimsy. Um, all right, so flimsy player boards and stickers. Great. Um, all right, so there's four of those. So you go up to four players. That's fine. Um, you put uh, defects in your design here when you discover them. Uh, all right, so it's two slots for those. The solo mode, all right, that's interesting. I don't, I don't know if this game would be really particularly fun to play solo, but it's nice that they uh, provided it. All right, let's go look at the board here. Uh, there's the board, is it double-sided? All right, this has got uh, one, two, three, four, although it says one to three there. Uh, and then here on the other side, one, two, three, four, and it says four player there. So, yep. All right, so there's a there's a difference uh, depending on how many players you're playing with. You know, you're moving your pawn along here, and these are the different actions uh, you can do. Like, that's take a flight. I think that's uh, do a repair. Um, there are some stuff that allow you to take cards. So we'll be looking at the different cards or any action because if somebody's blocking the space, you know, you can't do it. So... All right, well, let's uh, take a look at some of the... All right, well, these are nice screen printed things. So you need uh, you need a plane. I'll just pick the purple ones. All right, so you need a pilot. So your pilot is the pawn going around the track on the board. And then your plane represents how far your furthest flight was, right? Because it's by distance. The game goes four rounds or when somebody makes a flight of distance 40, I think it is, that also can trigger the end of the game. So... Yeah, you got to track that. Uh, that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, that's for this player. That's what their plane looks like, apparently. All right, the planes are all different. The pawns for the player pilots were all the same, just different colors. But the actual uh, flight distance uh, is different, uh, different actual designs. So that's kind of cool. All right, so lots of cards here. So let me go ahead and open this deck and we'll quickly, you know, look at what's in there. So this is just, this seems to be just sort of a basic flight card, right? So you're going to have your deck and you're going to shuffle it and you're going to start doing your flight. You're just going to pull out the cards. 
Uh, and this just says, hey, you're flying one distance, right? That's, so that's what these ones are. Uh, there's also some twos and threes and fours. Obviously, I mean, even just having the one in your deck is nice, but having the uh, longer distances, five, et cetera, is good. Um, this is an experience, so you get to add plus one. You get to add a card, or you get to add one of these cards, I think, that's a plus one to your flight. Uh, not exactly sure what that is, but that's cool. Like, when this comes up, you get to add uh, stuff, and that's further distance. All right, so that's uh, a lot of those cards were fairly basic. Let's see if this other deck uh, is also those same kind of cards. All right. What have we got here? Yep, lots of ones. I mean, you need a lot of ones in this game. So, yeah, that is an entire deck of ones. All right, these, you know, these all have the same back because they're going in your uh, hand. So, all right, now we've got some more interesting cards. So, let's see, these are probably the pilots, right? So, everybody has one pilot. Um, and, right, and there's two sides to it. One side is the famous side, and one side is the not famous side. Uh, so essentially you have some special ability. Um, so after flying and checking, I don't know that what that is, your fame. If you set a new personal flight record, you gain one money and another one of those one cards into your deck. So that's cool. And once you become famous, I think that's what that means. Yeah. Once you become famous, you get, uh, that type of card. Uh, and then also you set a new personal flight record, gain two money. So you become famous um, at, it's on the board actually, it's marked with that same camera icon here. If you do a flight of 15 or longer, you become famous. Uh, all right, so here's, uh, you know, we've got a bunch of different pilots. Everybody's got a pilot that, uh, you know, has some specific ability, makes everybody a little bit different. So that's cool. Game's a little bit asymmetric uh, that way. All right, and this seems like there are plenty to choose from. All right. This is a special descend card for this person only. Okay. Uh, and hmm, I don't know what these cards are. These are problem cards. Maybe. Oh, these are the descend cards. Uh, right. So you have a descend card. And so at any point, you can decide to stop playing cards out of your hand and start your descent, and then you have to draw two more cards. And the thing is, there are problem cards in your deck, so you can keep flying until you hit, I think, four problems uh, or damage or issues or whatever. I don't remember exactly the terminology. Um, and then you crash, <laughs> if that's the case. So you want to play cards to move your flight along, but then at some point you want to descend, uh, but you still have to draw two more cards. You can't wait till the last second to descend. You might get a problem with those other two cards that cause you to crash while you're descending. So that's not great. Um, all right, let's look at uh, another one of these. Uh, you know, my kids, I, as I mentioned, really like Push Your Luck. And so I hope they like this theme so that we can play, you know, Push Your Luck uh, themed game about the early days of flight. I'm in trouble getting that open. Let me try to cut that again. All right, again, still the same card max. Yep. All right, so we saw some of those experience cards. Uh, so this is one of those flight problems that I talked about, right? So this is a basic flight problem. You still go one distance, but you get one of these problems. Uh, and some of these have two problems, I think. Maybe those will be the next cards. Let's see, you know, which are sort of disastrous. That looks like it has two problems. I don't know why my one's smaller. Counts as two problems as if this is the first problem in your flight. Okay. Delicate wing structure. All right. Um, that's cool. Pitch instability. And, you know, some of these things, which have negative effects or whatever, I think they're called design flaws. Uh, and I mean, I know they're cards that are called uh, design flaws. But the design flaws, you can fix them. And when you repair them, well, first you have to discover them, right? So you have to do a flight, another card comes up, and then it goes in your garage. And then you can take a repair action to get a bonus for fixing uh, the flaw. And then the flaw, because you take that card out of your deck and you replace it with a basic flight problem. So when the card comes up, it's not as bad. And then you've got some bonus when you're doing it. But uh, 
Wow, the largest something in your flight counts as tube distance, whatever that symbol was. Um, yeah, so these are all bad. Right, this one, uh, wow, you didn't actually go anywhere and you it has a problem. And uh, if the next card added to your flight is a one, then you discard it, I guess. All right. Yeah, that sort of sucks. Well, I mean, I guess it sucks when you have uh, unreliable elevator control on your airplane. All right, cool. All right, let's look at some of these other cards we have here. So there are three types of cards that are sort of um, open drafted, right? There's some that are out on the table, and then you can go to certain locations on the board uh, to take those. And they are friends, technology, and skill uh, cards. So these have a different back because they don't go in your deck, right? So these are the technology cards. Technology cards are always in play. So when you buy one of these, or you take the action to get one of these, uh, it just says, you know, now when you take the, I guess that's the flight action, um, you get two money, right? Every time. So these are just uh, tech cards uh, that you get. And uh, we'll just look through those. It's pretty cool that there are uh, multiple of the same. Uh, so there isn't like a crazy race necessarily to grab uh, one of these. Uh, let's see. And then there are skill cards. So skill cards, I think you can use once per flight. Uh, that's what's different about them, right? So yeah, look at the top four cards of your deck, draw two and shuffle the rest into your deck. So, you know, take two good ones out of there, take two that may aren't so great and then shuffle them back in. Uh, all right. So that's the daredevil. Uh, that's cool. Roll control. Wing warping. All right. What does that do? Look at the top three cards of your deck, return them in any order. See, now that's particularly useful because remember, you know, you could see that some problems are coming. So you might say, Ooh, I need to descend now to play the next two cards and not play that third card. Right. Uh, so nice. Uh, tilt the canard. Fly continuously. Close call. Practice makes perfect. That's cool. Nice. Uh, okay. And then the last type of cards are these friend cards. So friend cards, I mentioned this is the game is played over four rounds, uh, potentially. And each one of these is once per round. I think, I think I have that right. Uh, all right. So as your turn, uh, pay to time to take another friend card. Looks like, okay, that's kind of interesting. So when you're going around the board, um, if frequently you have to pay for something and you pay with money uh, and you might get money based on you, your position at the end of each round, how far you've flown, you get money from the Michelin cup. Uh, but it, often you can pay for things with time. So moving your marker ahead. Now you always want your marker in the back because whoever its turn is, they get to go next. Uh, uh, whoever's in the back, that's their turn is next. So you always want to stay back uh, as much as possible. So we've got a bunch of potential friends here and they all have pretty cool uh, abilities. All right, cool. All right, there you go. There's a one, one bag here, uh, I guess for all the components that aren't cards because there are slots uh, for all the cards. Uh, there's actually two levels of tray here. So maybe those three different ones that I was talking about go down here. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'll figure out how to organize that all soon. Seems like the box is bigger than it needs to be. Uh, but isn't that always uh, the case? Okay, well, here is what the stickers are for. So they recommend uh, you put the stickers here, right? So you're gonna have these, a bunch of these cards are gonna be face down, but they all have the same back. So you wanna have these little tabs, I guess, to tell you uh, what those uh, different stacks of cards are for. Uh, and the coins go here, uh, and you have a space down here for your like, you know, wooden uh, components. Um, and you've got friend, tech, skill, pilot and descend. And then this sticker is just not even used, apparently. Okay, there you go. That's what the stickers are for and where they go. I'm excited to get uh, first in flight to the table. And after I do, I'll let you know what I think about it. So uh, thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask down in the YouTube comments. I'll 
try to answer them as best I can. Or you can come over to our Discord. If you look in the description of the video, there's a link to our Discord channel where we talk about games. Uh, but until the next time, thanks for joining me.